It was such a cold night last night. It's like five degrees again. My little heater in my trailer can't keep up sometimes when it gets that cold. I go to <clears throat> I go to breath seeing my breath, you know. So I know it's bad. My trailer's too small. I normally you can script the you know, script the trailer and run water through it, but I can't so I can't use the bathroom in it <laughs> during the winter. Otherwise it freezes the pipes and everything gets ruined, so I mean there's a place I have to walk to to use, but you know. It's full time camping. It's really the only thing I can afford right now. I mean I make decent money as a nurse, but I give it really a lot of it goes to, you know, school school debt and and other debt I, I took over in the the divorce. And the rest goes to my kids, you know, because I don't want them to be without at all. So, anyways, but I mean, it gets so cold sometimes that I've got a, I've got like a little like, um, what is it, a memory foam pad on the top, and at like under thirty degrees, it freezes over. It's crazy. Oh, doctor, I have to say this. I know I say like a lot. I say like a whole lot. Um, there's a reason for it. I know it's annoying. I've had friends tell me plenty of times. I think I get it from the movie Clueless back in the 90s. <laughs> Who knows? But the reason why I use it, and really I could use a different word just the same, but it's filler. Because when I was younger, I grew up with a terrible, terrible stutter. I mean, and it still comes out to this day. When I get really excited or I can't get really energetic, I'll totally hang up on words and I can't, can't feel them. So, anyway, I got bullied a lot for that growing up. And we'll talk about bullying another time, but... Yeah, I had a bad stutter, and I know I've said a lot of likes in the last two sessions already. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. And you know, and like, and you know, and like, 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 you know, like. It's just, what can we do? It's annoying. I know it's annoying. Just another reason to be alone <laughs> in your cold trailer. In five degree weather where your heater can't keep up on a really hard mesh foam pad. So it's like cold underneath you and cold above you. It's hard to get warm at night. It's just sad being by yourself. It's just one of those nights. Um, embarrassing story though. I did get this. I had this cooler before. And sometimes I... Just throw it in the bathroom so I don't have to walk in the cold weather to go to the bathroom. <laughs> That's terrible, right? <laughs> oh, my own little mini outhouse, I guess. <laughs> my mini septic tank. But, yeah, whatever. Anyway. What else to talk about? There's so much, but... I guess, thinking about bullying, I remember, I remember one time back in middle school. Man, I didn't, man, gosh, that stupid stutter. I didn't have any friends growing up. Ugh. Like, even the nerdy friends, you know, that you'd consider nerdy, like, they hadn't hit puberty, you know, like, they just didn't want to be around me. I was bouncing off the walls. I had to like stand up to take tests. I had to get special permission. And my mom had to fight off like all these threats to sue and all this stuff because of what a crazy kid I was. I just could not keep it together. And I was on Ritalin too, you know. And when I was on it, it was good, you know. My mom would pump me full of caffeine and Ritalin to keep me, keep me steady. And it worked, you know. 
I still drink like tons of diet soda just to keep that regular caffeine coming so that some of my ADHD tendencies stay under control. Uh, but it was really hard to keep friends. Man. Like I said, think of like the nerdiest nerd friends you can think of and they didn't even want to be my friends. I was like, ugh. It was so rough. I was alone then. And then I'd go home and get bullied by my brothers at home. What a life. I know so many people have been there. I know that. But that's why I'm talking about it, you know? Like, I'm trying to work through that. The same thing that everybody else probably has to work through, too. Oh, and I forgot to tell you earlier that I suffered only child syndrome, too. You know, from those years that I was with my dad. You know? Not that I got everything. He just wasn't there. Like, only person syndrome more like it. I don't know. I don't know. We still did stuff. We still had some fun. I love my dad, you know? I think we have a decent relationship now. Could be better, but it's improving. Anyway. Let's, uh, let's change topics, I guess.